Welcome to my channel. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a like up. Following the beginning of WW Rob this week, Rhea Ripley and Damian Priest are not doing well. Both stars were brought to a doctor facility after the opening of the exhibition. The monk from Damian had something to say. Finn Balor, as the latter emerged to talk to viewers throughout the program this week, of the Monday Night Show Priest had arrived, able to handle what Balor was stating in the betraying of the Judgment Day, yet he was then ambushed by the remainder of the group and pounded down the injured Rhea Ripley hurried out to assist. However, she already carried a handicap. She utilized the crutch as a leg aid. Firearm, but the statistics were not what they should be. Game and the injuries against her. She cannot get on after Dominic. Mysterio tore off her crutch from her arms. Liv Morgan later turned it toward attacking her already damaged limb. The two stars were crushed down, assisted by a priest, enveloping her body with his so that Morgan was crutch-based hitting him. Therefore, it has now been declared, rather than her, both Rhea Ripley and the Damon Priest needed to be hurried to the medical center. After the incident, the reporters offered a worried update stating that the attack heavily damaged both stars, but more. One was examining the stars for minute details. Both hurt, but just now the precise nature of their injuries is unknown. Later on, the Terror Twins were rescued. From their downing under, Juso, this evening seemed to be one that promised. Historic for WWE Raw, with a heavy agenda, with a thundering audience yet, as the performance reached its zenith an unexpected, disturbing turn of events, producing, cast across the evenings, celebrates Rhea Ripley and Damon Clergyman. Two of WWE's most shining talents discovered yourself at a crucial state wherein nobody could have expected the slice that resulted in a dramatic of events meant to be display of triumph. Honor Ripley, the reigning women's world champion and minister, the present banker of the Bank of Money. Briefcases were sent to their admirers on their most recent successes and upcoming. Strategies, there was evident thrill as two celebrities headed toward the ring their confidence and charm, illuminating the arena, Ripley using her. Very striking clothing appeared every bit the dominating champion priest with his striking physical appearance and calm attitude was ready to enjoy in his modern triumphs, but the vitality in the arena turned abruptly when Ripley, mid-sentence paused she grabbed her chest, and twisted her face in. First taken off surprise was the agony priest. Promptly came to see that something was fundamentally erroneous. The shouts of the audience started to gasps as Ripley staggered, collapsed straight down on one knee. A priest hurried to be by her side, his customary cool manner replaced with obvious concern. The cameras captured the upsetting. Scenario, catching the unvarnished feeling. Nervousness among medical staff, rushing to the ring, the urgency in their activities. It, clearly identifiable, the WWE medical staff, how to manage a broad spectrum of wounds and crises rapidly. Examine the protecting impulses of the situation priest were on full show as he hung near to Ripley, his anxiety carved into every line of his face. The circumstances evolved to more concerning given Ripley's state of affairs appeared to become worse. Hence the medics had to make a quick choice among the throng. Staring on in shock silence, Ripley was gently arranged on a stretcher priest, reluctant to leave her side, galloped along as the medical crew guided her toward the backstage space and outside of the arena. The Startling departure stood in sharp contrast to the earlier enthusiasm of the evening departing. Lovers and fellow superstars, both in shock and worry in the state of nature, times that matched the ambience and 
The arena changed from expectancy to worry. The program went on, although the energy had clearly altered the audience once concentrated on the now consumed were actions in the ring. Concerned about Ripley and Priest social, media ran wild with conjecture. Worry as industry insiders and fans equally asked for updates on the scenario as the raw telecast carried on. Whispers started to fly about the nature of Ripley's ailment first. Vague reports that added to the developing awareness of the knees. The WW universe was left with waiting for official information buzzing around to every phrase used by the pundits. Search for any indication of news about two superstars. Meanwhile, behind the scenes, predicament was no less. Fierce WWE officials and medical team put great effort to grasp them. Solve Ripley's ailment. The, the air was thick with conflict. Uh, they eagerly anticipated further developments. Damien Priest was obviously unhappy. Seen timing the hallways in his head, surely sprinting with anxiety, his normal, stoic presence gave way to an uneasiness reminiscent to the supporter's own worries. As the hours pass, WWE published short comment about the context in which they verified Ripley had been driven to a neighboring medical center hospital for further assessment and that her illness was being given significant attention. The statement, though, Comforting in their intention left many unresolved issues related to the absence of specific knowledge only included within the rising conjecture and anxiety among supporters and associates in the lack of definite updates stories started to those who speculated that Ripley could have struggled with a major medical condition. Fear others feared that the circumstance may indicate something. More sinister, the speculations were directed towards considering the dramatic character of the incident and the prominent character of the people engaged all night. The WWE universe stayed on edge. Viewers turned to social media to show their support for Priest exchanging words with Ripley, hope and support the wrestlers. Community renowned for its close-knit relationships pulled together around the two superstars, proving the robustness, harmony that characterizes the sector. While the medical team carried on to operate behind the scenes, the emphasis turned now to Ripley's welfare. Priest's first concern was obvious, making sure Ripley received the greatest possible treatment. Her condition was treated with the highest urgency, presence, and encouragement of the priest during these days were evidence of the great link and alliance between the two superstars. The next day, WWE released an update with reference to Ripley's situation. Even if specifics were few, the statement verified Ripley had went through many testing assessments she came across reported steady state under the medical team, trying to identify the precise origin of her abrupt pain. The update offered a glimmer of optimism, but left many doubts unresolved as the WWE universe was waiting. More knowledge, the emphasis stayed on, on Rhea Ripley's health and rehabilitation. The event reminded me sharply, considering the erratic character of professional wrestling combined with the physical toll it can now have on its athletes. Priority one was obvious, making sure that Ripley got the treatment required, so she may get back into the ring upon. The timing was perfect. The evening starting, having celebration and enthusiasm had turned unexpectedly and left long influence on superstars and fans. Similarly, way the wrestling scene waited modifies the collective hope further at that Ripley would provide in a swift and complete manner. Reconstruction poised to get back into the ring. Keep running her rule among WWE's strongest stars.